I try every diet under the freaking sun. And let's just be for real. I'm like, what can I do to be my healthiest self? My best deja, like my healthiest self. Plant-based diet has always been in the back of my head, but I'm like, I can't do that. I can't give up meat. I love cheese. I cannot get that stuff up. Like I always said, I can't do it. Like with macros, with calorie counting, you can eat a bag of chips. You can eat cookies as long as you stay at that calorie mark. But are you really putting healthy stuff into your body? What's up you guys? I'm Deja. Welcome back to my channel. By the title, y'all already know why y'all are here. I'm here to give y'all all the details of me trying a vegan diet. So... I made a post on Instagram about me doing a vegan diet for 21 days. I'm still doing a vegan diet. I'm still following a plant-based diet. So I haven't had any meat, fish, no form of seafood, no cheese, no butter, no form of dairy. I made a post on Instagram and the girls went freaking wild. It's gonna be a whole lot of who do I think I am. I've been breaking all illusions all 2020. I am not who I was a year ago. I'm realizing how dope that is. Thinking about who says, who does she think she is? It's not a divine woman's mentality. No one thinks more than- Which I had already made up my mind that I was going to do a YouTube video. I received a couple DMs. I received comments from you ladies. Like, Deja, we need a detail on what you are freaking doing. We need a detail on what you did. We need a, we need a detail on what detox diet, whatever you went on. So I'm here to, to give you girls what you want. And I'm here to talk to y'all about it. I love making videos to actually talk to y'all. I know y'all love gym videos. I know y'all love seeing what I do in the gym. I know y'all love seeing the progress I make. But if I'm being totally honest, I love making what you eat in a day videos. I love making videos talking about my diet because let's be honest, you're not going to get the body that you want without the diet it all starts at home in the kitchen it all starts with what you put into your body so like i said i made a post on ig to show you ladies the progress that i made i've been vegan for 21 days and 19 of those 21 days i did raw a raw vegan diet so my plan was originally to do 30 days of a raw vegan diet but as y'all may know if y'all been keeping up with me or have been talking to me on, on ig y'all know i'm remodeling my home things got a little stressful and just to be honest and keep it 100 with y'all like i always like to do things got stressful and i was out at a dinner spot with my boo we went to this spot because he know i'm doing the raw vegan diet so we went there where i can get me a good vegan salad with good vegan salad dress um and they sold vegan pizza and i always told him like at my 31st day when i started eating cook vegan let's come back we went there i was getting like some texts from the people working on my house like stressing me out with like the work and things like that so i was like forget it like today is today i'm not doing raw anymore i'm sick of fruit let me just go ahead and order, order some vegan pizza and so that's what i did in this video i'm gonna be posting pictures for y'all of what i ate during these 21 days i'm gonna show y'all what i've been eating during the raw days i will tell y'all how my body react i've been documenting everything in my notes and i'm gonna just tell y'all how i got through it so why i went on a vegan diet let's talk about it so i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna be real with y'all i try to keep it real with y'all try to be transparent i've tried every diet under the freaking sun and let's just be for real i've tried macros i've tried keto i've tried um calorie counting which is kind of the same as macros i've tried it all if y'all know if y'all been here with me for a long time y'all know keto low carb all that was really successful for me my highest weight was 291 pounds keto really helped me get down into the 230s with keto i lost tons of weight like i've lost tons of weight with keto did keto for a while keto no longer worked for me did macros work weight lift with macros high protein 
worked work slowly and i'm just so used to keto and i really need to get out of keto's mindset and i wanted to see results like faster that's the truth i want to see results faster so i started doing macros i started calorie counting but i'm like wow am i really putting the healthiest things in my body like at least with keto it promotes more veggies because you have to eat low carb stuff but then with keto comes fat and all that stuff that's another video for another time we're done with keto but i'm like with macros with calorie counting you can eat a bag of chips you can eat cookies as long as you stay at that calorie mark but are you really putting healthy stuff into your body plant-based diet has always been back in my head but i'm like i can't do that i can't give up meat i love cheese i cannot get that stuff up like i always said i can't do it one day my co-worker and i we were just talking about plant-based diets and all the benefits and one day we just agreed like let's do this so if you're really thinking about doing a plant-based diet do it with a friend find somebody that, that can encourage you and help you started doing this with my friend but i said to myself why am i doing Doing this why why am i doing a plant-based diet so i wanted to do the plant-based diet to challenge myself like i said i've done everything else and i felt like i'm at a point where i just want to put healthy things in my body if some of you guys may know i'm getting married at the end of the year first comes marriage then comes the baby in the baby carriage i want to be as healthy as i can be to have a freaking baby um i want to be healthy as i can be as far as my number my numbers like my you know my medical records things like that so i'm like what can i do to be my healthiest self my best deja like my healthiest self so i was like hmm this is why i should do the plant-based diet and i feel like meat and dairy and things like that have so much power over me and this food so i wanted to just give this stuff up i actually found two guys on youtube that were doing the raw diet and i kind of watched their videos and they kind of inspire me i'll add their information somewhere or link it down below just looking at other people's journey knowing that i want to put healthy stuff in my body looking at the research on how plant-based diets have reversed things and like diabetes and stuff like that i'm like why not and why not challenge myself so that is why i went on a raw vegan diet so things that i ate for 21 days this is day 22 i've been raw vegan um i'm gonna share this journey with y'all for but for the first 19 days i ate nothing but raw fruits and vegetables smoothies and nuts oats i didn't do um anything that you had to cook i did not do i found salad dressings that were raw um that were made from ingredients that weren't that didn't have to be cooked or anything like that you can make your own vegan salad dressings out of cashews nuts milk things like that so i will um place i will just have pictures and things going of what i ate so um i will say that a raw vegan diet can be a little bit pricey but meat is expensive like oxtails are so expensive if y'all eat oxtails ground beef is gone up eggs we saw a huge thing where eggs went up so i'm like people complain about fruits and stuff being expensive everything is expensive right now just do it everything is expensive right now so the grocery store that became my favorite during this time is Publix um, we don't have like Whole Foods and things like that. I live in a small city. We have a Publix. We have a Harris Teeter. We have Winn Dixie Walmart. And Publix was the best place for me to get fresh fruit, organic fruits, things like that. So on day one, I'm going to tell y'all exactly what I ate on day one. So day one, I woke up and I had a smoothie. I had bananas, I had spinach, I had strawberries, and I had a raw protein powder. I made a 32 ounce smoothie, so I made sure I stayed full. I used almond milk, or you can use water. For lunch, I made a Mexican salad, which I did spring mix, I did avocado, I did tomato, I did bell peppers, all completely raw. For dinner, I tried the hot girl summer salad, which is like a huge thing on TikTok. I tweaked it because I think eggs come in the hot girl salads the hot girl summer salad and i took that out i did sunflower seeds bell peppers cucumbers um oil and vinegar so dressings that are raw and considered to be vegan why am i doing quotes that are vegan day one was rough for eating raw veggies for me it's something i definitely had to get used to and the hot girl salad was disgusting the rest of the time i really focus on very basic salads I found a vegan dressing that I like, which I will add. And for lunch and dinner, I mostly just had fruit. I had a lot of melon, a lot of strawberries, fruit that I have, haven't ate in years because I was like on keto and scared it was bad for you and too sweet and things like that. I got to enjoy bananas. If y'all follow me on IG, y'all like know me and talk to me because I do talk to a lot of my IG followers personally about like what I eat daily. 
Um, so if y'all know me, y'all know before going on this vegan journey, my favorite thing was yogurt, protein yogurt in the morning. And I kind of miss eating protein yogurt. So a great vegan substitute I found was chia pudding, which is nothing but chia seeds, almond milk, a fruit of your choice. Maybe you can add some, some monk fruit if you want or some organic vanilla. So I didn't do things like honey, agave, no syrups like that. The closest thing I got to something sweet was monk fruit. So on the first day, um, my stomach wasn't hurting too bad. It wasn't too tore up or anything like that. To be completely honest with y'all, my stomach became more tore up when I started adding in cooked vegan things. Like the first cooked vegan meal the first cooked vegan meal i had was the vegan pizza from mellow mushroom which i'll add a picture of that and i think like maybe i should have started out doing cooked vegan at home like cooking my own fruit food at home but i was just under stress at the time due to other things so my stomach was hurting so bad when i started eating cooked vegan things again cooked food in general again one thing I realized, like, I feel like my skin looked really good. My pee had no smell. I'm going to be honest with y'all and be 100% transparent. My pee had no smell. My pee was clear, like freaking water. I was regulated. I didn't have any bloating. I didn't have any issues with, like, bloat after eating. I wasn't gassy or anything like that. Every morning I would have every morning I would have a large bowel movement that wouldn't be diarrhea like or anything like that, but it wouldn't be like solid turds. It would just be a glob of poop every morning. And I don't know. It's just I can just tell that my body was I can just tell that my body was being regulated. I can just tell that um, my gut health was in line. I just felt like everything I was putting in my body was just perfect for my body and benefiting my body in every single way. So when doing this raw vegan diet, when trying vegan period, I didn't tell anybody. My coworker knew, the people at my job knew because they see me every day. And um, my man knew, of course, because we lived together. So I didn't tell anybody. I didn't tell my mom to like the second or third week, maybe the second week. Um, I didn't tell my mom until the second week because I didn't tell my cousin who y'all see me work out with. I didn't tell her. I didn't tell anybody because one thing I realized and just from seeing other people's journey and seeing the criticism I got from diets before I um, just didn't want to tell anybody. I didn't want any negative comments like, where you going to get your protein from? Why you ain't eating meat? You need a balanced diet. You need this. You need that. Like, I just wanted to do it for me. I didn't want any negative comments. I want to research vegan diets. I want to learn about vegan diets. And I wanted to do it for me without any negative comment. I didn't tell none of my close, close friends until last week. After, after I got to, like, day 15, I didn't tell none of my friends or anything things that y'all really want to know about weight loss i definitely did it for weight loss and i didn't think like this is something i would want to continue to do i did i said hmm, i'm gonna just do 30 days and detox my body that's why a lot of y'all was dming me like we need this detox i need to know what detox you're doing and i was like hmm, it's not really a, it is a detox putting raw things into your body Putting healthy things in your body can be a detox and it can be um, something that detox your body, get all the toxins out and elevate your health. But this became more than a detox for me. This became something that I want to continue to do. So when doing the diet the first week, I lost six pounds in six days. Six pounds in six days a pound a freaking day i lost a pound a day i'm at day 22 now at day 19 i had already lost four more pounds so the weight loss did slow down i think the weight loss slowed down because on days that i was like busy with work you know because some days i'm gonna be honest with y'all some days i was just like i'm just i don't want no fruit today i don't want no salad today i don't want nothing so i was just snacking and snacking and snacking on nuts nuts are very high in calories so i kind of think on some days i like over consume nuts or some days i didn't eat enough my body may have begins to get used to things so i think things begin to slow down 
I think I definitely needed to start eating cooked food when I did. So listen to your body, listen to your mental. This is a mental thing if you do plan on going vegan. If you do plan on going raw vegan, which is very more restrictive, if you get to a point, if you get to 15 days and you like, dang. Because like I said, my plan was to do raw vegan for 30 days. But I was just stressed. I really let my emotions get the best of me. And I was like, you know, we still going to be vegan, but I won't cook vegan today. I'm, I'm stressed. I won't cook vegan today. So if you get to a point where you're doing raw vegan and you're at day 15 and you like... I'm over this like I need some cooked food then listen to your mind listen to your mental have some cooked food so moving forward now you know after 30 days I thought I was like give me some meat I want some meat but I'm like I don't have no desire for no meat I'm gonna take things day by day the plan is to be vegan but I'm taking things day by day I'm going to be documenting this journey for y'all, what I'm eating. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Instagram if y'all want to communicate with me directly. I plan on doing an accountability group in April to I'm gonna encourage girls to lose weight before the summer. The summer is coming and we all want to be fine. And I said, this summer is getting a bathing suit. Getting my body in a two-piece bathing suit. They whatever body I got the summer and the people are getting it like I'm not I'm not going another summer without wearing a two piece and that's just it to what it is so as far as working out what did I do I've been kind of stalled on the fitness videos I've been kind of stalling on my fitness videos as far as putting content out because I'm like y'all don't want to just see me in the gym doing what I've been doing so I've been kind of backing away from weights and just walking outside jogging outside walking in the gym jogging in the gym and i'm like that's boring for y'all to see and that's boring for y'all to watch but i wasn't ready to tell you guys what i've been doing just like i said to make sure that i'm in a mental state for me so what i've done these i haven't lived no weights in the past 23 days i have been walking i have been jogging I have been doing the Stairmaster. I have just been doing cardio and I can just tell my overall health has improved. I don't know who has Apple Watch, but I've been getting notifications from my Apple Watch like your heart rate has decreased. This is a sign of your health improving or your breath's taking however so many is, has decreased. This is a sign of your health improving. So I've just been focusing on vegan foods, raw vegan foods, only drinking water, no processed foods i just been focusing on fruit so someone messaged me and said did you do a meal plan did you meal prep or something like that no i would wake up i would go to a store or i would do a grocery pickup i would get things i did not have to cook i'll get salad stuff i'll get raw vegan dressings i'll get some oil i'll get vinegar i'll get coconut aminos i'll get seasoning i'll get fruit i'll get things i did not have to cook things i can just go in the kitchen and throw together i just started off simple so my advice for y'all if you plan on doing a vegan diet or a raw vegan diet don't overthink it get on tiktok get on instagram look at other vegan women or men or whatever get look at people to inspire you start simple pick fruits that you love buy those fruits pick fruits that you want to try buy those fruits and just start don't don't over complicate things and i found that i used to be like Oh, I gotta get a gallon a day in, or oh, I gotta get a half a gallon a day in, which I still try to get half a gallon a day in. But when you eat fruits like watermelon and cantaloupe and melons and strawberries and things like that, that has water, your 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 thirst is cramped, is quenched. Is that where your thirst is quenched and you're less thirsty? Like you're getting fruit, you're getting water from your fruit. So if you don't already y'all go over there and follow me on instagram right now i don't know what y'all waiting for y'all follow me on tiktok so you can see daily things of what i'm doing what i'm eating um i've been on a pause on sharing things on tiktok because i was just not ready for the world to know what i've been doing so i just took this time for me mentally to prepare prepare myself to go through what i've been going through i've inspired others to start their vegan journey if you plan on starting your vegan journey comment down below 
if you're still watching comment down below your favorite fruit maybe it's something i haven't tried and i need to try comment down below your favorite vegetable maybe it's something i haven't tried need to try let me know if y'all have any questions i'll do a q a about being a newly vegan person if y'all have questions about what things was like when i did a raw vegan diet comment down below i feel great i think you'll feel good if you want to go vegan i think you should do your research and look up the different health benefits of going vegan in the african-american community our race faced a lot of health issues and i believe a lot of those health issues we bring on ourselves based on our eating habits so i want to be an example and i want to be an inspiration for african-american women plus size women black blue purple yellow women other women to just let's decrease the health issues that we go through let's add more years on my life i just want to put things in my body that's going to heal my body help my body nourish my body not saying you can have cheat days where you go have um some pizza or something fried or something like that because there are so many fried mushroom recipes that i want to try but 90 percent of the time y'all let's put good things in our body and let's be good to our body let's love our body because we only get one body so again if you're still watching comment your favorite fruit or vegetable down below or both maybe something i need to try go follow me on instagram like i said i'm going to be doing the april accountability group which is going to be free and i think i'm going to cap the group out at 20 people I am almost at 4,000 subscribers, so let me know what ideas y'all have for a giveaway. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Bye.